Hey, Vicky, the weather outside is perfect. You want to do a bike ride? Yeah, let's go for a bike ride. Should I get Brandon? Yeah, definitely. Yep. Hey, we're going for a bike ride. You in? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Sweet. All right, I'll see you guys in five. Five? Uh, yeah, I, I can make it work. I can make it work. How long do you need, man? I don't know. I mean, he did say five minutes, right? Yeah, five minutes. What's up, losers? I might have had a little too much fun filming that intro. <laughs> Vicky goes, uh, that came out way too natural for you, Rob. I mean, uh, what can I say? I like popping wheelies and giving people a hard time. So, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I will say though, you're never gonna catch me in spandex, all right? It just ain't gonna happen. All right, so let's talk about what's up with spirit juice. So, really excited to announce, we just put out in our shop these uh, retro prayer cards. So, we have Bishop Fulton Sheen, Mother Angelica, she's pretty BA, Blessed Carlo Arcutis, and then, of course, the OG Blessed James of Barioni. We have these as five by sevens, the traditional prayer card style, like old school prayer card. Talk, it has like the biography and stuff on there. And the best part, we got stickers. And not only any kind of stickers, but these are dishwasher safe. They're at our shop, spiritjuice.shop. If you didn't know, we sell stuff. We also sell this shirt, we sell coffee. Check it out, pick up some of these holy cards. And we have some new ones coming out we're working on now. So we're gonna keep releasing more and more decorate your house with it, give it to a friend, put it up in your office. I hope you enjoy them. Spiritjuice.shop. So what's next? Have you ever seen the movie Scully? Is it Scully? No, it's not <laughs> Scully. Uh, Scully, that's uh, Scully with Monsters, Inc. I don't know. Um, anyways, the movie Sully with Tom Hanks. If you're not familiar with the movie Sully, it's based on a true story. A plane landed in the Hudson. Over 150 people on there, uh, everyone was safe, they, they got everyone out. And the reason these people were saved, not only was it a good landing by Sully, but they would have started sinking in the Hudson, but Captain Vince Lombardi, who drives a ferry, and he saw them and he went over there immediately, and with some very intricate maneuvers, was able to keep the ferry there so all the passengers were unloaded and everyone was safe and relatively unharmed. We did a short film on on that. It's just really cool. It, and it kind of just goes to show that you can be called to be a hero really at any time. I just watched Sonic 2. Trust me when I tell you there will come a time when your powers will be needed. But you don't choose that moment. That moment chooses you. This is basically Captain Vince Lombardi. The moment chose him. He was doing his job throughout the day and a plane landed in the Hudson right in his lap, essentially. And so he didn't choose that moment. That moment chose him and he stepped up and he did everything he could. And he really prayed and put it in God's hands that he could guide every moment. And by doing so, everyone was safe. And so just a remarkable story. Uh, it's always inspiring when you see a real life hero um, and you see that their faith is such a guiding force in their life. So as we talk about real life heroes, let's talk about the efforts that the Knights of Columbus have been doing to support those affected by the war in Ukraine. They've actually raised $16 million of funds to help those in Ukraine. And actually 100% of their donations support the humanitarian effort in Ukraine. So with all this work they've been doing, um, it's obviously garnered some attention. And uh, they received an email that said, hey, listen, a band wrote a song about Ukraine. Oh, okay, uh, well, the band's uh, Catholic. Oh, and they're from Ukraine. Oh, and they're also knights. Oh, who's the band? Both of us were in seminary together and we spent our Friday nights going down playing. It kind of became a ministry. Really no plan to be a band, but the response was so overwhelming to the music 
people pushing us, go, you should do this. And that's how we accidentally became a band. You know, we were street performers and then now we're playing for the president of Ireland and Ukraine. The band's name is Scythian. So two brothers are in the band. They're first generation from Ukraine. They speak Ukrainian and we get to film an interview with the band and film a bunch of fun B-roll. And so it was a really inspiring shoot for us, uh, but also just how, what their music can do and how it's impacting people and bringing more support, uh, both just awareness, but financial support too, to everyone that's affected uh, in Ukraine. So if you feel like you want to help, you can do so, kfc.org slash Ukraine. 100% of the proceeds go to support uh, the humanitarian efforts in Ukraine and the surrounding areas, because there's a lot of refugees going to Poland and the Knights are present there too. So let's continue to pray for Ukraine and God bless. You know, okay, uh, my first snake was actually called Slytherine and he got out, he, I lost him. But I found him though. Um, <laughs> I lost my train of thought, but I'm gonna keep my energy. I was right. It's too late. Cut.